Now in this uh, video, I am going to solve control system uh, gate 2017 problems in set 1. So in this lecture, I will solve one problem which is the question given like this. The open loop transfer function g of s is equal to s plus 1 by s to the power p into s plus 2 into s plus 3. And the circuit is shown and the block diagram is shown like this. So g of s. So it is not required actually. So for the given steady state error is equal to 0 for unit step input and steady state error is equal to 6 for unit ramp input then find the parameter p that is s to the power p now to solve this we need uh, some basics about the steady state error so i will give quick if type and input what is the steady state error if type is equal to 0 that means at origin suppose there is no poles so input is suppose step input step input then steady state error is finite we can say a by 1 plus kp kp is a position constant or position error coefficient so a is a input amplitude if type is 1 and a ramp input and the steady state error is finite is nothing but a by kv a kv is velocity position velocity error constant similarly type 2 and the input should be parabolic and this is finite which is k a so velocity uh, this is velocity and this is acceleration error coefficient now so it is mentioned steady state error is equal to 0 for unit step that means <coughs> so anyway steady state error is 0 for unit step so from this this should be matched to finite value so whenever the unit ramp input is given the type should be 1 that is it should be finite that means the p should be directly 1 we can say r so steady state error is equal to 6 which is equal to a by kv so unit ramp so amplitude is 1 so what is kv the, the uh, what you call the formula for kv is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into g of s so what I can solve limit s tends to 0 s into g of s is given s plus 1 by s to the power p into s plus 2 into s plus 3. Now how to cancel s and s because when I substitute 0 so this is 1 this is 2 into 3. So what I will get 1 by s into 1 by 6 into s to the power p so which is equal to 6 so 6 is equal to 6 by s into s power p so 6 6 cancels so s power p is equal to s power 1 so from this also i can say p is equal to 1 right so this is how to do this problem right 